Hey guys, how's it going? This is Brandon with buildingwithdairy.com. Today with a video for you. What is ultra filtered milk? We'll talk about what it is, how it's made, and why you should care. If you like the contents of this video, make sure to hit the like button. You can also subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this every week. And if you have a question or comment, make sure to hit that down below. Now onto the topic of the video, ultra filtered milk. Most dairy products kind of have a lame name like sour cream or buttermilk, which just sounds like sadness. But ultra filtered milk sounds super cool. It's like the superhero of the dairy industry. Filtration is the process of removing particles that have a difference in size. If you think of like your coffee filter, you add in coffee grounds to the top, you pass water through, smaller compounds are able to pass through and the larger grounds that are left stay in the filter. Ultra filtration is a particular type of filtration that separates in a certain small size range. When it's applied to milk, milk has fats, protein, carbohydrates, which is lactose, minerals and vitamins, and water. Ultra filtration concentrates and keeps the fat and the protein and allows the lactose, minerals, and water to pass through. So this is a super unique technology that allows us to kind of customize the milk experience for different consumer types. Some that are wanting higher protein and lower carbohydrate or that want any kind of manipulation to their milk. It's no secret that low carbohydrate diets are all the rage right now. The ketogenic diet, I feel like there's some new book or some new article or some video uh, coming out about the ketogenic diet every five seconds, right? But that's kind of on the extreme end. I feel like since the, the start of the Atkins diet in the 90s, there's been a general more concern about how much carbohydrate we're eating. Me, I'm kind of in the middle there where I eat a little bit lower carbohydrate because I enjoy eating higher proteins and higher fats. But I also kind of cycle my carbs and have higher and lower days based on my activity level and based on my energy levels because I like to keep my energy high. We talked a little bit about how ultra filtered milk is made, kind of where it comes from. Now let's talk about where you can get it. Fair Life is kind of the market leader of ultra filtered milk. It's pretty much in any store that you go to, you can buy it. It comes in these 52 ounce bottles. Fair Life is owned by Coca-Cola. And like I said, since it has that distribution, it's pretty much everywhere. Fair Life boosts 50% and a 50% increase in protein and a 50% reduction in lactose, as well as has a little bit added mineral to kind of help round out the nutrition and make it an easy choice to make. Fair Life tastes pretty darn good, pretty close to normal milk, as well as it has some other unique benefits. The number one reason why I like Fair Life milk is because it has more protein in it than normal milk. I'm always looking to incre increase the amount of protein I eat in my diet. I'm always looking to get it from high quality sources like milk. And so from switching to normal milk to ultra filtered milk is an easy way to add 10, 15, 20 grams of protein to my diet without changing my diet all that much. The second reason why I like Fair Life milk is because it's ultra pasteurized. Pasteurization is a heating process that, make milk, that makes milk safe to drink. Ultra pasteurization is even hotter, but ultra pasteurization extends the shelf life of milk, which means that in your fridge, sealed up the bottle of milk lasts 30 to 60 days instead of the 10 to 20 days that your normal giant gallon of milk would last. So if you're someone like me that likes to go to the store and buy in bulk, it's a great option because you can have four or five bottles of Fairlife in there and just open them up and use them as you go and they'll last in there for a couple months. Fairlife isn't the only kid on the block. There are a couple other products that are more regional that have emerged in kind of response to Fairlife. In the Northwest, there's a company called Dairy Gold that makes a product called Dairy Gold Fit that boasts a 75% increase in protein and a 40% reduction in carbohydrate. The only problem there is it's regional, so you can only really get it in Washington, Oregon, California, Idaho, up in that region. On the other side of the country in the Northeast, there's a company out of Massachusetts called HB Hood that has a, a lightly ultra filtered milk called Simply Smart, which instead of the normal eight grams of protein per serving, it has 10 grams of protein. 
So if you're in either of those markets, you have some more choices, but Fair Life you can pretty much get anywhere. Now I really want to dive in and really help you to see the difference between a normal glass of milk and a glass of ultra filtered milk. So I'm going to throw some graphics up on the screen so we can compare the nutrition facts panel of the two side by side. Anyway, so you'll see here on this graphic that on the left we have a normal glass of 2% milk, has 130 calories, 5 grams of fat, 12 grams of carbohydrate, that's that lactose we were talking about, and 8 grams of protein. On the right we have ultra filtered 2% milk which has 120 calories, 6 grams of carbohydrate, and 13 grams of protein. So in ultra filtered milk we're able to get an increase in protein from 8 to 13 and a reduction in carbohydrate from 12 all the way down to 6. I think the most powerful example of comparing normal milk and ultra filtered milk actually comes in chocolate milk. So here's a bottle of Fair Life chocolate milk. I love this stuff. It tastes really good. I've been drinking it for a long time. One thing that I really like to do, I kind of like to end my day on a sweet note. I kind of have a sweet tooth and so I kind of wait all day to have something sweet at the end of the day. And so I'll mix a scoop of whey protein in with a cup of this and some ice and kind of make a milkshake that I really enjoy at night. So similarly, I'm going to throw up a graphic here on the screen that compares normal chocolate 2% milk to ultra filtered 2% chocolate milk. So on the left you'll see that we have 180 calories, 5 grams of fat again, 26 grams of carbs. If you look deeper in the nutrition facts panel you'll see that under total carbohydrate we have 26 grams of total sugar but 13 of those include added sugar. That means the manufacturer is adding table sugar to help make chocolate milk sweet which is why it tastes so good. Now, ultra-filtered chocolate milk on the other side has 140 calories, it has less calories, 12 grams of carbohydrate, and 13 grams of protein. So if you're paying attention and looking closely as we're comparing these nutrition facts panel, you'll see that this ultra-filtered milk in the chocolate milk has 12 grams of carbohydrate, but in the white normal milk, it only has 6 grams of carbohydrate. So we were talking about how ultra filtration concentrates the protein and reduces the carbohydrate, but what's the deal here? Well, I know some people at Fairlife. I don't know the secret. I don't know their recipe or their formula, but I have some ideas. One of the reasons why I think they keep in 12 grams of lactose is because they're trying to use something called lactose hydrolysis. Lactose is, is a double sugar. It has two sugars that are attached. If you're lactose intolerant, you can't break down this bond in the middle, which is why it causes you gastrointestinal distress because the, the, the bacteria in your gut are having to break it down, which can cause uh, discomfort in the abdomen, maybe some gas and some other less desirable um, side effects. But when we add the enzyme lactase to the milk before we bottle it, it breaks down that bond in between these sugars to make two single sugars. Now when that's done, the sum of sweetness of those two single sugars is greater than when they're attached. So that means lactose-free milk compared to normal milk is actually sweeter. So Fairlife chocolate milk is able to achieve a higher level of sweetness by hydrolyzing 12 grams of lactose as opposed to the 6 grams of lactose that they normally do. And it also means that they add less sugar, which is something that we all like and are looking for. I think ultra filtered milk is the future of the dairy industry. It's already used in things like cheese making which I'll do another video about as well as now we're starting to see products where people are making yogurt out of ultra filtered milk but I think we'll continue to see more and more as well as more brands emerge uh, with ultra filtered milk. I think that's it for the contents of this video today. Once again if you like it hit the like button if you want to subscribe to our channel, please do so as well as leave a comment. If you want to learn more about ultra filtered milk and dairy products in general, you can go to buildingwithdairy.com to read some of the articles we have there. As well as linked in the description is an article about ultra filtered milk if you want to learn more about it. That's it for me. Remember to grab a glass of ultra filtered milk and do it with dairy.